What do you see here? Do you see a Dutch polder? Well, apart from the fact that it's my parents' backyard, I see electricity. What's this? Is it a rice paddy field? I say it's electricity. Everglades? Electricity. Now, before you start thinking that I'm going to transform all these beautiful areas and all these green areas into coal-fired power plants, no, that's not my idea. Let me introduce myself. I'm Ireland Helder. I'm CEO of Plenty. And at Plenty, we produce electricity with living plants. So while the plant is growing, we can directly produce electricity without harvesting the plant and without putting this kind of coal-fired power plants there. And that's necessary, because we're with over 7 billion people in the world. And we need energy, and specifically electricity, in an increasing amount for each and every one of them in the coming decades. And did you know that actually 1.2 billion people, 1.2 billion, that's this part of the world, that's 20%, still doesn't have access to electricity at all. That's a lot of people. So we need to do something about it. And we don't want to do it this way. You all know that coal-fired power plants are very bad for our environment, for the air quality. Oh, and by the way, we're slowly running out of fossil fuels. So we need alternatives. And yes, we've got some of them already. We've got wind turbines, we've got solar panels, we've got hydropower. Good solutions, all of them, but limited. Wind turbines only run when there's wind. Solar panels only work when there's sunlight. Hydropower only works when there's enough water and height difference. So I would like to add a new technology to this matrix of sustainable and renewable technologies, which is electricity from living plants. And now here you're thinking, how does that work? Well, let me show you. This is my friend Wally. And Wally produces electricity with living plants, obviously. So this wall is completely filled with plants. And the plant photosynthesizes, produces organic matter in this process, and uses part of it for its own growth. But what's left is excreted via the roots into the soil. And around the roots, Bacteria break down the organic matter, and in this process, they release electrons. And we capture the electrons in a carbon electrode, so the carbon doesn't dissolve, it's inert, so it stays there, it's not harmful for the environment. So the electrons are transferred to the carbon. Sorry, I have to move a bit. And we harvest them via a wire, and then put a second electrode to it. Because, and if you put two electrodes together, basically, you've got a battery. Now let me show you what happens when you connect that. Yes. <laughs> so Wally here is producing electricity to charge my cell phone. Thank you, Wally. <laughs> now, think of what we could do with a lot of Wallys, because this is not a solution to our large-scale electricity problem, but it could be. So this is the first product we brought to the market recently. And I'm happy to tell you that we already found, within a month, two customers who are actually willing to to be a launching customer who dared to say, OK, give me 100 square meters of this system to charge cell phones or do other things with it. Uh, and these are the Dutch state and uh, two municipalities, Ede and Wageningen. And they said, we don't care that it's not economically sustainable yet, because it will be in the future, and we believe in this. So what can we do with it? You can put it on a roundabout. There are always plants on roundabouts, right? Put it on your roundabout and light the lights that are on the roundabout. Or put it on your roof. We have major problems with stormwater retention, with heating up of cities, with 
biodiversity in cities. You can put a green roof on your building and produce electricity for the building underneath while insulating your roof, while increasing biodiversity. And you know what? The modular system is not where it stops. It's just the beginning. What we really want to do is make a system that can be applied in natural areas. And we've already started doing this. We're developing a tubular system that we can drill in horizontally in natural areas so that every wetland in the world can become a power plant. You can produce electricity in the Dutch polders and rice paddy fields while producing food basically everywhere. So just to have an idea about what it would mean, 4% of the Dutch wetlands would be enough to generate 20% sustainable electricity in 2020. Or, if you want to have a look at the bigger picture, 15% of the wetlands worldwide could generate all the electricity we need worldwide. Now, isn't that music to your ears? I think it is. And that's why I want to finish off with some music. It's not easy being green Having to spend each day the color of the leaves When I think it could be nicer Being red or yellow or gold Or something much more colorful like that But green is the color If green is all there is to be Still, it could make you wonder why But why wonder, why wonder I am green and it'll be fine It's beautiful And I think it's what I want to be